Good morning children. Today we are going to learn moral science of class 2. Lesson 5. Obey your elders. Our lesson name is Obey your elders. So children, first we have to understand the meaning of obey. Obedience means listening to elders. Obedience means listening to elders and doing things what they ask you to do. So children, elders can be anyone. Elders can be your grandparents, parents and teachers. Children, your parents and teachers love you when you obey them. For example, when teachers give you homework and when you do the homework on time, you feel happy and teacher also feel happy that teacher and parents thinks see our children our children are becoming obedience so children obey obey your elders so related this obedience i will tell you a short story the name of the story is the hidden treasure story name is the the hidden treasure in this story there are Five characters. Farmer and four son. There are four characters. Farmer and four son. So there was a farmer. And farmer was very hard working. But he was having four sons. And all the four sons were very lazy. They never do any work. They were sturdy, strong. But they spent all the time roaming here and there in the village. So father was worried about his son. So one day father decided and he acted as ill. That he is ill. And he called all the four sons. He called them and told, My dear son, I want to share some secret with you. I will be no longer. So go. There is some treasure hidden in the Field. So, by hearing this, all the four sons were very active. Father, where is the hidden treasure? So, the, he told, go, go to the field and get it, treasure and share it among yourself. So, all the four sons went to the field and started digging the field. They dug each corner of the field, but they did not get any treasure. So, younger son went to the father. He said, Father, we have dug each corner of the field, but we did not get any treasure. So, by smiling, father said, My dear son, if you have dug all the field, so why did you sow some crops? Go, sow some crops in the field. So, all the sons went to the field and sow some crops in the field. And luckily, the tears rained very heavily and the field was full with the crops. So, again they went to the father. They called the father. Father, see our crops. We sowed seed and see, this is the crops. So, father smiled and said, My dear son, I was talking about these crops only. This is the hidden pressure. So, children, what was the hidden dresser? Crow. Crow was the hidden dresser. Treasure. So, from that day onwards, all the four sons became hardworking and they obeyed father. Though their sons, four sons were very lazy, but they were obedient. And from this story, we learned that sweet are the fruit of obedience. So, children, what is the moral of the story? Sweet are the fruit of obedience. So, moral of the story is sweet are the fruit of obedience. So, children, you also don't become lazy. Treat your work, become obedience, and do what 